Hey there, Kate from Purely Paperless, and I just want to show you how you can make a Symbaloo mix using um, URLs and other content from the internet. So Symbaloo is essentially a visual bookmarking tool, and um, you create what's called a mix. You can create a number of mixes in your account, and each mix is composed of tiles. So each of these little squares is a tile. Um, a bunch of tiles makes a mix. So to get started with Symbaloo, you do have to create an account, and once you've done so, um, you can create a new web mix. So I'm just going to call this a sample web mix, and I'm going to begin adding content to it. Now, there are lots of ways that you can kind of customize your web mix. So you can um, change like the background color, you can um, do all sorts of different things with it. But um, what I want to show you right now is how you can add new content. So if you want to add a new tile, you can just create one. And I pulled up a couple of resources. Brain Pop Junior is one that I use in my classroom a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add that to um, a tile. Now sometimes you'll see that it populates with a little icon, an image from that site. Um, sometimes it doesn't and you just either have to create your own or choose one of the pre-designed ones. So I've created my, now my... Brain Pop Tile. I'm also going to create one for Power My Learning. That's another resource I use a lot for games in the classroom. And so I'm going to go ahead and follow the same procedure. And I'm going to call this just powermylearning.org. And so you see some of these are already here. Now something that's really cool um, that you can do is you can search for tiles within the system. So if I want to search for National Geographic, it's going to pull up a bunch of different tiles that other people have created um, that I can just pull from. Another feature that's kind of cool is if you have other um, mixes that you follow, for instance, the Earth Changes and Fossils is one that I followed that someone else has created. I can just right click and it will give me the option to copy a tile to my own web mix. So for instance, if I'd like to add this hurricane um, tile to my sample web mix, I can do that and I can choose to either move it or copy it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now if we go back to my sample web mix, you can see that that tile has appeared there as well. So it's really easy to add and populate these. I like that you have this kind of home tile here um, that kids can kind of search and use. Um, and it's really easy. So your options is where you can go ahead and you can rename it. You can change the background. Um, and you can also then go ahead and share it. So it's really easy to share. Um, you can share it publicly, privately. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And um, I can get the link for it and I can put that. I like to put these in mentor mob playlists that you'll see. Or I can get the embed code and I can put this right onto a blog page for my students to access. So this is a really great tool for curating and sharing websites and resources with kids in your class.